and welcome to the Vulcan Reapers. No! We're using the other one. <laughs> no, it's like 10,000 times better. But, like, the other one was fun. We can use that for bloopers. Fine. Hello and welcome to the Vulcan Reapers. I am Ani Han, your West Coast host. I'm Comet. I have a can't. I can't do the hand signs. No, he, he would eat her face. So, today's video is, um... Not late at all, and because of that, we're not going to be wait, rushing multiple no. videos in no, one no, no, day. No, no, wait, wait, wait. It's not today's video. It's Friday's video. This is Friday, last Friday's video. You're not supposed to give them away that I'm not lying, like right off the bat. I mean, you weren't lying. It is a video for today, but it's supposed to be for Friday. I know, but today's video we're recording later. We were totally recording this on Friday to be uploaded on Friday. It just didn't upload properly, so yeah. Yes. Don't look at the date in the corner. <laughs> so today's video is an instructable. This is part of an instructable how to make a pattern. Today's pattern is for this pillowcase for an Alolan Grill Bay. Grill Bay being our lovely Marowak from our Pokemon Moon series. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to the people, Milo. This is my furry nephew. He's, been... he's gotten quite big. He's very healthy right now. And he's been eating cords, so we've been... So we put him in timeout. Yep. Which he doesn't actually hate. He's just really playful right now, so he wants to go and play. But he's, like, making no more moves to escape, so it's like, um... <laughs> you can't have those! Step one is to create your pattern either digitally or on paper. If you create it digitally, you can size it to whatever no. size you want no. and then print it out. No. If you create it on paper, then it is a good idea to make a smaller version and then to use the tape measures that she just threw over there um, to manually scale up your designs. I created my design digitally when I was in Washington and then flew out here and from memory sketched it out on paper and cut it out. After sketching it out on nice flimsy, oh hey if I mess this up it doesn't matter paper, I took nicer paper, traced it out again, and then I cut out this pattern so it's more stiff. This if we messed up a bazillion times you'd be a little bit upset. But it's her sketchbook so you know she'd be more upset not really oh, also after you're done cutting up cutting them and cutting them out hmm? label them for future use <gasps> yeah so i i wasn't labeling them and she was just like oh are you gonna put numbers on all those spine things and i was just like why why would i need numbers on these things that are very obviously different and I even have like an upside and a downside like why would i need numbers on those what? Um, so for my design, it's supposed to have two of these little spine triangle things. Spine diamond things. What am I saying? Um, but I made four. Spine dangles. Spine dangles. Uh, but I made four so that this would be a longer pillow. And this means I can use it as a cape. Da -da -da. Thank you, Sam. You can hang your cat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Girl Bay has giant holes in this part. It so, is, but. <laughs> so you need to have another piece of your pattern that's going to cut out these holes. One second. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> your insert. This one, you only need one of, because when you flip it over, it's the other side. It's a miracle. It's like the scapula. Note how it is labeled, our scapula grill bay. The reason it is labeled this is because the other side is the other scapula. By the way, the, the rights and lefts, you can either choose it to be your right and left or the items right and left because they're going to be opposite just make sure you're consistent with all of it and then it should be fine fun fact you only have to draw half of a butt bone if you fold the fabric in half 
so that this edge that's floopy there is the same edge on the fabric and then ta-da and then you cut it out that way and then you have a whole one true but i don't advise it though it's just <laughs> it's just if you're really lazy like me that's how you do so now i have this entire pattern yeah no, i see <laughs> And then once you have the pattern, you put it on the fabric, you trace it, you cut it, you sew it, bam, boom, zang, done. What, am I wrong? No, you're just enthusiastic. It's fast forwarding, what? It's straight into the point? Straightish into the point? Put by into the point? For your pattern pieces. He looks like he's ready to attack. So he is. For your pattern pieces, take the inside piece of your lovely butt bone, as she refers to it, and cut that out of the body fabric. You just need two pieces of this, one on one side, one on the other. Make sure you flip it. They have to be opposites. And then you need two giant rectangles. Rectangles to make the pillow. Oh! Oh! Everything else you cut out of your accent fabric. You're cleaning that up. Yes, I am. This accent fabric has to be a nice match with it. If you choose something like this, it would also work. If you choose something like this, it starts to get a little bit weird. Unless that pleases your eyes. Unless Which it can. You go like this, and then it gets pretty again. You just have to choose whatever two colors you really think would look nice together. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same colors as the original pattern, because... Like bright orange and this blue? Yes, yes. Um, as long as the colors look nice, that's totally cool. Choose whatever two colors you want. Once you've used your patterns to cut out all of your little fabric pieces, you want to sew the two parts of the butt bone together. Afterwards, you will need to pin <laughs> butt bone. <laughs> Would you like to lay it on here? Thank you. Um, no. <laughs> lay it on here unhelpfully. I will do it in the most unhelpful way possible. How dare you. You're so getting that. Unhelpful. <laughs> oh, motion hurts. I lean on my arm too much. Hmm. I kind of like the three on that one. You do? Yeah. Mm. Odds are very appealing to my brain. Spontaneously decide you're going to throw away one of the pieces you worked so hard for. Don't even check which piece that is. Just throw one away it's fine it was the tiniest in case you were wondering piece four see she writes it in japanese on the back four which which doesn't work well with fabric and sharpie so yes so okay come on you wanna you wanna focus on it no no camera okay it's got it enough it's, all right so you want to lay your pieces of pink fabric on your pieces of gray fabric your accent one on the body fabric uh, and then pin them into place so that somebody else can sew them. That's my job. Ding. Later. And we're going to do that in our next video. Live long and prosper, nerds. So cute if everything. I'm not used to saying it, so my brain drew up blank. <laughs> like, Should I say it properly? That's not the word, no. That's okay. fine. That's not the word I remember saying. <laughs> By the way, if you were wondering, why is this a triangle and not a rectangle? Find out in part two. Dun, dun, dun. You know, do you know what my bleep is? It's gonna be, ah! <laughs> no, don't scream during my bleep. Like, ah! This is a tutorial for, ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is a tutorial for, ah! Attack my face, I'm gonna have to hurt you.